I have none here. No, so. not at all. Hey everyone, so I am back with another video and we are doing a full set on her nails. So I've already cut down her nails and pushed back her cuticles and she had one nail that I'm soaking off. So I'm going to just go in and shape up her nails a little bit. And I'm just using a 100-100 nail file. Where do you usually like buy clothes here? Well... The last time I bought some clothes here, like physically bought some clothes, mm -hmm. was at um, Forever 21. Uh -huh. But, I mean, I didn't know. You know I've realized that everywhere. Like today, I went to the mall earlier because I was supposed to have an appointment, a doctor's appointment, but they canceled. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. Um, So we ended up going to the mall. Girl, it's so expensive. Yes. Like, at least online, you can find like promo codes mm -hmm. and stuff, which I always use. Mm -hmm. But. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go in with a sanding band and we're just going to remove the shine from the natural nail. Remember that when you're doing this, we're not falling to thin out their nail. We're literally, we're literally just falling to remove the shine. Um, and be sure to turn your client's finger over to the sides to make sure that you remove that shine from the entire nail. Because if not, your client will get lifting. So again, this is a 100, 100, or sorry, this is a 180 sending bend. You don't want to use anything higher uh, or more coarse than a 180 because you will damage their nail. Yeah, like everything was so expensive. Like lately, girl, I've been going to Ross and Burlington because I like, even just um, like this sweater. Mm -hmm. When we were, uh, I think we were in... Yeah, we were in Forever 21, and then we went to H&M, mm -hmm. and it was a sweater similar to this, and it was even thinner. Like, you could see through it, mm -hmm. and it was, like, $34. Mm -hmm. Girl, I got this sweater for $10. Mm -hmm. the is <laughs> and I've just been shopping there, like, Ross. Like, the other day, I went to Ross and got me, um, like, maybe five sweaters and some mm -hmm. jeans, and they look better than some of the ones that be in mm -hmm. Forever 21, and... What about um, Rainbow got some cute stuff? Do they? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. <laughs> you just got to catch them. But <laughs> like um, for my aunt's wedding, girl, I ordered literally three times. No, like two times from Fashion Nova. Mm -hmm. I ordered a jumpsuit and it was really cute, but I feel like it was too plain for a wedding. Okay. And then I ordered another dress and it was too loose. I didn't like mm -hmm. how it fit and some heels. And then I was like, you know what? I was going to order again. And I'm like, you know what? Forget it. So I ended up just going to uh, Rainbow and ended up getting me a dress from there. And it was cute. And it was literally only $15. Mm -hmm. I would say go there. Mm -hmm. Go, Yeah, I would say go there in Little Rock. If not, you know, it's Ross next door. And mm -hmm. then it's the Burlington. Um, Burlington right mm -hmm. next door. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make some shake because now mm -hmm. the weekend almost here. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would say go to Rainbow first. And I, and I got not figured out. <laughs> but I know I have to, um, I need to order me a cake. Oh. Uh huh. I want a big one so I can eat it all by myself. Oh lord. <laughs> Alrighty, so I dusted the nail soft. So now I'm gonna apply the nail tips. Remember, whenever you're applying the nail tips, like if one's too small and the other one's too big, like this is a number nine, and I can already tell that it's gonna be too small. So I'm gonna go up to a number eight. Let's see, a number eight, and that's probably too small too. Let's see. So I'm going to go up to, that'll probably be too big, to a number seven. And it's a little bit too big, but I'm going to have to file it down to make it fit perfectly. If I would have glued the other one on that was too small, her nail would have broke off or lifted. So remember, always go with the bigger one and just file it down. For my glue, I'm using my KDS glue. Yeah, this thumb or that finger is soaking off. Hold it down for a couple of seconds. Make sure that you hold your client's finger straight. That way the nail is not crooked. Yeah, 
just apply the glue on the nail tip turn it over hold your finger and glue it down just hold it for a few seconds and this glue dries really fast so i don't have to hold it for so long um both the glue and the nail tips i have on my website as you guys know it's still down for restocking but it'll be up pretty soon and i'll post about it once it get closer to the time Girl, did you see Liam shaved his head off? No. What? Girl. I, I see when I came in, but I didn't pay with this. <laughs> he grabbed some clippers and he just cut a patch off. Oh. Right on the front of his head. No, I need to see. So mama, it actually grew up grew out a little bit now, but mm -hmm. it was short, short. <laughs> and he was proud of it too. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh, was he? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is that that is so cute though. Look at his hair. I ain't even paying no attention to mm -mm. it. I know he spoke to me when I came in. He been lately. He's been saying hello. <laughs> That's his word right now. People are telling me to do gold, gold glitter. Okay. <laughs> what did you have in mind? Like colors or you just don't know? I let you do what you do now. I trust you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> now, damn, I'm going to be all confused now. <laughs> It usually take me an hour and 30 minutes to do a full set. Um, somebody said, how long do I cure my gel polish for? Um, the actual color I cure for 30 seconds and then the top coat I cure for 60 seconds. But all polishes are different so you want to make sure that you read the instructions either on the bottle or on the website or wherever you get them from. Girl, no. Oh, what, 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 is there another dog? Yes, it's black. Oh, girl, it's a neighbor's dog. <laughs> they just be all over here. Oh my god! I'm like, oh my god! No, that's mm -hmm. my new dog. Girl, no. <laughs> but I, I, that don't look like something going on with it because it has stuff coming out of his mouth. Uh oh. -uh. Uh -uh. I'm so sick of them shooting out there. Girl, last night when I went to sleep, they were shooting. This morning when I woke up, they were shooting. Is it? Are they it's shooting? The, are they popping It's stuff? the academy. Mm -mm. It's the, oh, police, the police academy. academy. Uh -huh. They don't know that people be sleeping. Girl, I don't know what they be thinking. <laughs> So now, have you heard of this site? Um, it's called Carvana. Mm -hmm. The girl up in my job, she was she getting a car from there. Oh yeah, I've seen a commercial about that. I don't know if I would trust that. I mean, I, I mean, I wouldn't either. But you know, mm -hmm. I mean, she 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 claims she write the reviews, and you know, mm -hmm. everybody's yeah. saying it, it, uh -huh. it's good. Okay, so I took that nail off that was, or the little clip, as you can see, the acrylic is soaked off. So I'm just gonna go in with my drill bit to file off the acrylic that's already soaked off i'm just filing that acrylic that's there and i can see it there so again i'm only fine filing the acrylic Alrighty, so now i'm just going to push the cuticles back and then i'm just going to shape up her natural nail what kind of car is she getting um, I don't know. She's it's something I want to get at least an alternate, uh -huh. but 
it's 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 a Nissan something. Uh huh. I mean, I don't know no Nissan's been an Altima mm -hmm. and um, a Maxima, so it's I don't know. But uh, she 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 said she got it. I said okay, now tell me how it is. All right. She said she read reviews and stuff on it, and people saying that you know it's you know somewhere good to go, uh -huh. but you know, and she wanted that they let you drive it for five days, then you can return it if you don't uh -huh. like it. Well, I know, like, whenever I went to the first dealership, before mm -hmm. I got my truck, I test drove a truck for, mm -hmm. they gave me 14 days to test drive it. Oh, did they? Uh-huh. So, I was like, okay. Because they were like, you want to test drive it for the weekend? And I was like, well, because I went, it was like an hour and a half, like an hour mm -hmm. away. And I was like, um, well, y'all made me drive all the way out here, I mean, so I might shit. as well, right? So I brought it for the weekend, and well, I was like, well, I can't bring it back until Monday. Mm -hmm. And they were like, that's fine. We can do a two-week test drive. And I was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm like, now I'm thinking about going out of town. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they they do that. See, they I trust people like that. I don't know. I don't know why. Because, I don't know, but... Let's let let's let's see how this go. All right. She said that they um if it it'll take five to seven days for it to come mm -hmm. in. And she did it Monday, so uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean does she not have time to go to the dealership? No, I'm gonna be ghetto. So leave them this yeah. one. Um what shape do you want? Uh ballerina. Okay. So she wants the coffin or ballerina. So I'm just gonna go in with the straight edge no clipper and just cut the sides off as you guys know this is just to save me time when i'm filing i won't have that much filing to do and then she said uh, like her notes would be like uh two something mm -hmm. every month and she had to pay like 300 or something dollars then uh -huh. so i was like oh, okay i mean mm -hmm. I, I mean i don't know if if i would trust it but, I mean, I guess it's just the same thing as like going to the dealership because you know they do everything online. They mm -hmm. put in your information, yeah, you right and that. I guess the only thing is they're kind of just delivering the car for you. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing. But I still would need to like go see it before. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me get my teachers on. Yeah, I can't. Um, like you said, I w I would have to see it before right. I get it. Mm-hmm. And they have like like every car up on it that, that you can think mm -hmm. of. I think I went on there because I seen a commercial on the TV, mm -hmm. and I went to look on there. Mm -hmm. Now, what if you get scammed? Yeah, what? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so I wonder if it's like a big company or if it's like different sellers. Right, that's what I was thinking Probably. Too. Um, I asked her. She said she know. Mm -mm. Well, that's something you need to know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go back in with my 100-100 nail file, and we're just going to shape the nails. So as you guys know, the sides we file at a 45-degree angle. We just go from the nail groove to the nail tip, filing again at a 45-degree angle. We just alternate from side to side. And then we file the free edge at a 90 degree angle to make sure that it's nice and straight. Just like that. And then after that, we're just going to blend the nail tip in the middle. And this is just to make sure that the nail tip looks pretty natural once we apply the acrylic over it. Same thing, filing at a 45 degree angle on the sides. And then the tip at a 90. And just blend it.
Uh, yeah, somebody just asked what acrylic I use. I use the Mia Secret um, acrylic system. And then recently I've been testing out the Multi-Balance Pink by Mia Secret as well. Um, and that's what I'm going to be using today. So as you can see with me, you know, cutting the sides of the nail tip with the nail or with the nail clipper, I'm not having to do as much filing. Okay, so same thing for the other hand. Again, we go in at a 45 degree angle from the nail groove to the nail tip. As you can see, I'm holding my file at an angle and that's really important. And then the nail tip or the free edge at a 90 degree angle. You could either do it like this or you can do it, you know, to the sides, but I like, I feel like you get it a little bit more straight by doing it like that. Girl, where can I get some real good crab legs? Like I had some from Sandra Rose and they were there. I had the lemon pepper and I should, I really wanted like the spicy kind. But I messed up and got the lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. And they, were, they weren't bad at all. But I kind of wanted something spicy. You know, I've been crab two places. Seafood Junkie and Kids uh, Walker. Crab crab okay. Place. Yeah, because for my birthday, that's what I want. Girl, my mouth was set on some Seafood Junkie's crab legs. Mm -hmm. And I called and they were like, oh, yeah, the only thing we have today is pasta. Oh, my gosh. And then the next day, I think that's when I had sea or crab legs, but it was from Sandra Rose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they were good, like I said, but I should have just got the spicy kind. Right. And then I got half a pound, and I really should have got the whole pound mm -hmm. because it wasn't much to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, they got some good. See, I've never... Uh-huh. Mm. But seafood junk and casual, they got the, some good uh, mm -hmm. That's when my mouth was set on for Saturday, too. Mm -hmm. the, mm. the part. <laughs> and I'm like, no. Um, I'm, I might just go just to go just one day. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked, how would you long wash dishes with nails this long? <laughs> um, the same way everybody do. Right. Trying to say no, yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody got their preference of having their nails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like right now, um, at the <clears throat> point where I want to go short, or I want to keep them like this. Mm -hmm. Like, it's either between going real, real plain. Right. Or doing something. But I'm leaning more towards going plain. Right. I'm just over it. I'm, like, by the time I'm done doing nails, like, I don't be wanting to do my nails. Like, I'll be tired. Surprising. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one new thing that I'm using is this monomer warmer. Uh, once it starts getting a little bit cold, the monomer starts messing up. Um, I don't even know how to explain it, but it, it just makes it a little, a little bit harder to work with. So I have this monomer warmer by OPI, and it was actually a gift from my teacher. And it's actually, you know, warm and 
I just feel like it works better when it's cold. I don't know if anybody has had that issue where your acrylic starts messing up whenever, I guess, the temperature is low. What's your favorite color? Uh, yellow and blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so for my primer, I'm gonna use my OPI primer. So I've already um remove the dust so now i'm just going to apply the primer and i'm just applying it on the natural nail remember do not get it on the skin because if they have any cuts it will burn them so i'm literally just applying it on the natural nail I'm like, girl, you just you almost five months. Oh, no. Mm. You can't hide it for much longer. And she's getting bigger, too. Mm. Her mm. stomach's burning poke. All right, so again, I'm going to be using the Multi-Balance Natural Pink Acrylic Powder. And I've already been using it, and it's literally just like the other one that I've been using, except for it's not as runny, so I do like that about it. And then I'm also going to be using some of my sequins. I think I'm going to use this color. It's like a light blue, a darker blue, and a gold. So I'm going to go in. I dip my brush into the liquid and into the powder. I got a bead, place it right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meet, pat it down, and then brushing it down towards the tip. Cleaning the sides off. And remember, when you're doing this, remember to constantly clean your brush off on a paper towel because if not, that acrylic will get stuck in your brush. I'm just trying to smooth it out again always remember to look at your nail from different angles and if you need to add a little bit more then that's fine or if you need to kind of move it around to even it out um, you can do that now as well by just brushing it around so now I'm gonna do another bead closer to the cuticle area and as you can see it's just a small one patting it down and then I brush it down towards the tip and then I'm gonna clean around the cuticle area. When you're doing this, only clean around the cuticle area with the very tip of your brush. So now I'm gonna dip it back into the liquid, into the powder, and I got a small bead. I'm gonna dip it into my sequins, and then I'm gonna place it on the nail. I'm gonna place it closer to the tip And I'm going to do kind of like an ombre effect. I'm going to get a little bit more with just monomer on my brush. Just move them around wherever you want them. Are y'all doing any Black Friday shopping? No. I gotta go. 
that way, but mm -mm. there's so many. Like the people that's been there, they have to um work from like eight to twelve, and like the people like the new hires, they mm -hmm. have to work from like one to five. Mm -hmm. Who doing it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not me. And see, I gotta see because I came in because uh, I think I came in after. Mm -hmm. But I'm using my time if I don't know. I used to use some time, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I got the time. Yeah. Mm, that's just crazy. Why, why, why even split that up like that? Mm -hmm. That's just beyond me. All them people should have paid their gas bill before paying? Thanksgiving. <laughs> Man, the like, people calling with these big old balances. And, you know, they trying to get uh, turned on before mm -hmm. uh, when the monitorium starts. Because when they, when uh, when a monitorium starts, they can't we can't uh, reconnect them or disconnect them. So if they off, I don't know. It's just like a rule they have. Mm -hmm. And then like they don't do disconnects up on weekends or Fridays. Mm -hmm. And um, but like it's this it's it it's this place that they got. It's called Light Heap. Mm -hmm. They paying all these people bounces off. This um, one kind of had today had like three thousand dollars. They paid it all. I'm just like, and see, you know, I think people wait until around this time. Mm hmm They know them people going to pay it off. Yeah. Okay, so what I just did was I basically got a bigger bead of acrylic and just encapsulated the sequins. As you can see, they're all under the acrylic. And, yes, the brush that I'm using is the Alpha Brush Oval in a number nine. As you guys know, I kind of just switch around from whatever brushes I use. So again, we get a small bead of acrylic, place it right in the middle, brush it down towards the tip. Clean around the cuticle area. And I'm not gonna do the sequence on all of them, just on a few. Place another bead, brushing it down towards the tip. Okay, so I'm looking at my nail from this angle and I can tell that the tip is still really thin. So I'm gonna apply another bead closer to the tip. Brushing it down. Okay, so now I'm going to do another one closer to the cuticle. And as you can see, this acrylic, it's really, really close to the other one. As far as like the color, you can't even tell the difference between the regular pink and then this multi-balance one. Again, the only difference that I see is that this one is not as liquidy as the other one or as runny as the other one. It's like it sounds like they out there preparing for war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that don't make no sense. Like they should know to stop at a certain time because people got other things to do. Mm -hmm. They tripping. Alrighty, so again, I'm gonna place a small bead, brushing it down towards the tip.
cleaning the sides off and the reason why i clean the sides off like that is so it doesn't take away from my shape a lot i actually just had somebody ask me yesterday how do i keep from my acrylic taking away my shape a lot and i basically just clean the sides i'm gonna dip it back into the acrylic and get a small bead and then dipping it into the sequins place it on the nail and then just move them around wherever you want them and I think this one I'm going to do a full nail. Is your mom cooking for Thanksgiving? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, they're going to try to put me in there, but I'm go hard so much. <laughs> cooking is, is cooking is real mm -hmm. hard. Take up too much time. I mean, I hate mm -hmm. cooking. Like, every time that I cook, I don't even be wanting to eat the food afterwards. I know, right? <laughs> That's why I hate it. I just rather somebody else cook. Right. No, but usually every year for Thanksgivings, um, I go over my boyfriend's family's house. Because mm -hmm. we don't do nothing here. Oh, yeah. We do too much. Ain't that that time for all this? Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I'm going back with some more acrylic to encapsulate that sequence. So as you can see, I get a big or a bigger bead and then you can tell like right there you can tell those are encapsulated and as you can see those still are a little bit shinier so we know that those are not encapsulated yet so we have to go back and add more acrylic Okay, so turn it over to the side. So here is a little side view. As you can see, we have a nice arch, and then we have a nice thickness on the nail tip, if you can see. So I'm gonna move over to the next ones, and I think for the rest, I'm just gonna do the plain acrylic. I'm gonna get a little bit more monomer, and I have noticed that this powder does take a little bit more monomer so that's something to take into consideration if you're wanting to switch over to the multi-balance so i'm placing my bead patting it down and then brushing it down towards the tip Because um, mm -hmm. I hate that A+. Was it your brother that was selling one? Or I must have been looking at somebody else's page. Um, uh-uh, they're not selling oh. one. I, I, I know one of my brothers, uh, they got one now. They oh, okay. One that was selling one. Because I know I follow your brothers, and maybe it was somebody else. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that much. To me, I feel like it's not that big of a difference. Oh, like, wow. the camera quality, you know, is better, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we got a bigger screen, but that's about it to me. I'm thinking it's a, you know what? Okay, that's cool. I'm thinking it's a big difference. The money, everybody, yeah. <laughs> everybody's hyping it up. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so that one's done. So now we're going to move over to the thumb. So same process as always. As you guys know, the steps will never change. It's always going to be the same thing. So we're placing the bead right in the middle, patting it down, brushing it down towards the tip. Cleaning the sides off. I'm going to do another one right below that one. I mean, you can't even see now. It's dark. Right, right. What they shooting at? <laughs> Too blind in the dark. It is just crazy. They just shooting. Like, oh, people ain't got no lies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the third one would be right behind the first two ones. Again, patting it down, pushing it closer to that cuticle area, and then brushing it down towards the tip. And then, as always, make sure that you go back and clean around that cuticle area to make sure that the acrylic is not touching the skin, because if not, it will cause lifting. Girl, so I started working out at that new gym, right? Oh, yep. <laughs> Girl, so I've been like running a, a mile mm -hmm. like to warm up. Mm -hmm. Why yesterday I'm running, girl. My leg decided it wanna just give out in the <gasps> middle of me running. Girl, when I tell you I almost fell. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if I pulled something or what, but it hurt mm -hmm. so bad and I could not move that leg no more. Oh my god. And I wanted to get off, but I don't know that. <laughs> I just kept walking. Oh I just loaded all the way down and kept walking mm -hmm. and it stopped hurting. But I was like, I was going to go back today and I was like, I'm scared that's going to happen again. <laughs> mm -hmm. You might go get a check that one. <laughs> Girl, I don't know what happened. Oh, we might go get a check that one. <laughs> it don't hurt now. It was just then. Mm -hmm. I kind of just like walked. Maybe it was like a cramp or something. Could have been. You're right. I forgot about the cramps. Yeah. Because I don't be stretching. Oh, you're supposed to stretch your face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 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 always recommended, but who who stretch before you exercise? All right. That is an extra. That is an exercise. Right? Me stretching is already <laughs> exercise. Girl, I've been getting a lot of phone calls too. Oh, like, Especially it? since I got my truck, that like I just get like random calls. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell me some my twenty sixteen Jeep. First off, my Jeep not even twenty sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I just Did hang up. Just call me out the blue. I don't even know who they be. Mm -hmm. They, they uh, don't leave me no message, so. Like, just earlier, I was recording, and I answered a call. And she's like, may I speak to Charmaine? And I hung up. Because first off, I'm recording, and I answered because I thought it was, you know, mm -hmm. some important or somebody important. Mm -hmm. And she said, can I speak to Charmaine? Girl, I hung up so fast. She called me back. Can I speak to Charmaine? I said, you got the wrong number. And she didn't say nothing. Hello? Oh. <laughs> Hello? So my friend, every, every time I say something, mm -hmm. um, like what cover should I get of? Say like a ball. He always say blue. No, no. And I'm like, oh, is you a crip? <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. like legit everything. 
I, I guess what color shirt I should get blue every time. You're going to you wearing some blue hair. <laughs> Why you I, I would never. Although I did see some cute blue hair before. I seen a yeah, I seen a picture just I think this week and it was so cute. Mm -hmm. I told my boyfriend I was like, look, I'm gonna get this. He was like, yeah, that's cute. Oh. <laughs> I Again, always look at your nail from different angles. Go to out there. Sound like a bomb. Right. Like a So as you can see, this is taking a lot more monomer. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Yes, the acrylic brush that I'm using is by Alpha Brush. As you guys know, I do have a promo code for them, which is Natalie 10. That's N-A-T-A-L-I-E 10. And their website is alphabrush.com. And right now I just been usually I use the number nine brush, but lately I just been grabbing whichever one is in my hand first. This time it happened to be the number 12, but I have a number 9, 10, and 12. And then I think I have a couple other big ones, but these are the ones that I usually use. But if you are a beginner, I'd recommend that you start off with like an 8 or 9. Nothing too big. Did you end up going to the fair? No, uh, my brother and did. So mm. I mean, I'm going no way. I mean, I wanted to, but I was like, uh -huh. do I really want to come? You know, they got the little fair on university. Yeah, I seen it. I seen it. I seen it. <clears throat> I just want some funnel cake. Mm. They, they said, somebody told me. They were selling turkey legs outside of the fair for $20 uh, an hour. $20. $20. Mm -mm. Who's going to get a turkey leg for $20? It better be the best turkey leg I ever had. Why, why you playing? Jesus himself but had made that turkey. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. no, we went like the last day. Mm -hmm. But I honestly don't even care for no fair food no more. Uh -huh. Like the only thing I had was literally me and my boyfriend, we shared um funnel cake. And what did I have for myself? I didn't have anything to myself. I had a sweet tea. Mm -hmm. A sweet tea and a funnel cake. That's it. Mm -hmm. And then my boyfriend's mom wanted... Uh, cotton candy, so we took her back some cotton candy, and I ate a little bit of that, and that's it. The fan even all of that no more. Yeah. Oh, uh, and then, oh, we had some chili fries, and they're nasty. Oh, my God. We're just trying to spend our last couple of dollars we had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
And that's the only thing. Because he, I think he had $5 in cash. And he don't ever care. Well, we both never carry cash. Mm -hmm. And he was like, let me, he said, let's spend our last $5. So I'm like, okay. So we walking around, girl, trying to look for some that's $5. You know, it ain't none that's $5, right? So we finally stopped at a stand. They had chili fries. Or they, it was cheese fries. But if you wanted chili, it was an extra $2. Mm -hmm. So it ended up being $7. And, you know, it don't be none but chili from a can. So That's it. Mm -hmm. It really won't even know that. And, and my cousin, he had some cauliflower french fries. Mm -hmm. He said they were okay. Mm -hmm. So he's okay when they were nasty. Yeah. So, uh, and me and him, we love french fries. And he was like, he gonna buy them just so um, he can taste them and see. Mm -hmm. Are they good or not? He, he said they were okay. Translation, mm -hmm. they nasty. Yeah. Because that's what we'll buy them. Mm -hmm. If he said they were good. Yeah. Because anything French fry wise, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. I'm all for it. Oh, it's fall. That's a miracle. Look at my account. It's time. <laughs> I go through this every month. I go through this every month. I'm going to let that dry a little bit before I do the other layer of acrylic. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to this one. I just don't want the sequence to move around whenever I do the, um, the other bead of acrylic over to encapsulate it. They shoot different kind of guns every time they shoot. Huh? They shoot different kind of guns every time they mm -hmm. shoot. Yeah, some be louder, some be mm -hmm. quiet. I don't know why they don't put the little silence thing, the silence, oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just go back there and look at your target. Right. Yeah, look at this guy trying to talk to you. He, mm -hmm. he got, <clears throat> first of all, he's short. Mm -hmm. He's probably like a few inches taller than me. Mm -hmm. Afraid of all, he got a gold teeth. <laughs> oh, you're a gross thing. Mm -hmm. He's, 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 I'm like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. where are you going? Oh, I have to pick up something. Okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I mean, but he's, he's very nice. That's, uh -huh. that's what I can say about him. Um, a little weird, but he's nice. Uh -huh. Okay, so I just encapsulated that one. I'm going to add a little bit more at the tip. Okay, so same thing for this one. And I'm going to add a little bit more right here on the side. Right there. I was trying to find <clears throat> somewhere where I could get a facial from. Mm -hmm. 
I would say um, you should try going to like one of the schools. The school? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I don't know the schools do that. Mm -hmm. They should do that. Like, you can go, probably the closest one would be um, going to Pulaski Tech right mm -hmm. here off of I-30 mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. at their cosmetology program. I know they have, um, you know, they have a night class. Oh. They probably charge like $10. I see. I need to do something. Mm hmm Shoot any devices. Alright. Alrighty, so now I'm going to get a little dap and dish with brush cleaner, which I used the one by Tammy Taylor. I'm going to fill it up. And then I'm just going to put my brush in there and let it soak for about 10 minutes. And this is just to get it rid of any of the acrylic, the acrylic that's stuck in the brush. And I'm going to go ahead and put everything else up. Again, I was using the Multi-Balance Natural Pink Acrylic Powder by Mia Secret. And then my Mia Secret polymer and my sequins. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and start with the other hand. And I'm just going to um, reshape the nails. So same thing, we're just going in at a 45 degree angle on both sides and then the tip at a 90 degree angle. And we're just gonna do that for all of them. And as you guys know, after we apply the acrylic, it kind of takes away from the shape a little bit. So that's why we have to go back and reshape. And I'm using my one, I mean my same 100-100 nail file. Don't shoot it now. <laughs> the sequence will be on my website once I restock.
Alrighty, so after I reshape them, I'm going to go in with a fine drill bed. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this in here. And as always, whenever I'm filing the nails, we always focus on the cuticle area first to make sure that it's nice and sealed. So again, start on the right side, go into the left side, and I'm just going to keep going back and forth until I'm able to see where the cuticle is, where the natural nail is, and where the acrylic is. That way I know that the acrylic is not on the skin. And then after that, with the belly of your file, which is this part right here, we're just going to file the rest of the nail to make sure that it's nice and smooth. And then same thing, look at your nail from different angles to make sure that it's all even. And as you can see here, we're able to see where the cuticle is, where the natural nail is, and where the acrylic is. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. And then also I file underneath the nail if it's a little bit too thick, which this one was. And then I file around the cuticle area. And remember, whenever you're filing with an e-file, always keep your file moving. You don't want to keep it in one spot for too long because it will cause friction and it will cause your client's nail to burn. And again, this is a fine drill bit. And I will be leaving um, all of the stuff that I use down in the description if anybody is interested. So again, file underneath the nail just to make sure that it's nice and even. A lot of the time, the acrylic could get under the nail, so that would be another reason why you would file underneath the nail tip. And then file around the cuticle area. And also remember that you want to make sure that you do this really good because if not, this is where 90% of your lifting comes from so make sure that you're following around that cuticle area really good again you make sure that you do it to where you're able to see with the cuticle area the natural nail and the acrylic Together or separately? I mean, I don't know. It's I hope it's not together. Mm -mm. Uh, is that, and that's a nasty thing. <laughs> yes. But, like, I can taste it like I want it. And I, and I, and I, and I don't know why. And no, I don't even eat peanut butter. I love peanut butter. I eat peanut butter every day. I just get a spoon full of it and just Ooh. eat it like that. Or I eat it with banana. Like, I cut up my banana into pieces as mm -hmm. I go. And I just put peanut butter on my banana and I eat it mm -hmm. like that. I mean, I used to eat it when I was a kid and I don't know what happened. I, it was just something that just started. I didn't always mm -hmm. eat peanut butter. Oh, really? Yeah, mm-mm. I don't know why. Mm. Oh, but I've been oh. trying to... <laughs> I've been trying to get, every time I eat it, I try to get Liam to eat it. And he's mm. like, mm -mm. he's like, eh. You don't like peanut butter? No, he won't eat it. I don't think he's ever had it. I don't know why he don't be wanting it. <laughs> it wasn't looking at you doing. But he'll eat celery. Like it's candy. What? Like he'll go in the refrigerator and get it by himself. <laughs> Oh my god. Like that, yesterday I was eating peanut butter and he was sitting right next to me and he was eating a piece of celery and I ate peanut butter. Mm -hmm. It's bad too.
Have you still been looking for a car or not? Yeah. Yes, I have, bro. I'm still looking. Mm -hmm. I can't find the wood I'm there. Mm -hmm. Like, something that's reasonable. Uh -huh. So I was like, I'm not going over 2.30 in a car now. Uh -huh. I just mm -hmm. need to do it. And, uh, like, it, I, I can't find nothing that make me angry. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got the money for it saved up. Yeah. Like, what are you looking for? Well, you know, I originally wanted a Kia Soul. Uh -huh. But I've been looking at Hyundai. Uh huh. But she told me that they don't knock off Hondas, and I'm just like, oh, oh my Lord. God. <laughs> just because of the name? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 uh -uh. She's so funny. She said the crazy stuff. Mm -mm. I'm just like, you know, I don't want to knock off of anything. But I see some cute ones. I seen one. It was like, um, like one eight nine or something like that. Uh -huh. It was it was blue mm -hmm. and, and it didn't have any miles on it. Uh -huh. it Shay says she is coming on your video to tell you, hey, hey Shay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go in with a buffer and we're just gonna smooth out the nails. As you guys know, after we file the nails with the e-file or even just the hand file, it does leave scratches on the nail. So us doing this is just going to remove those scratches. And then as you guys know, I always go back and fill on the nail with my thumb to make sure that they're nice and smooth. If not, I go back and buff a little bit more. Okay, and earlier I skipped this nail when I was reshaping just because it was the last one that I did the acrylic on and it was still um, a little bit wet. Sarah said she coming on her too. She said, hey. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Shay. <laughs> you know, anything that come up out of Shay Mouth is just off the chain. She said, to her, my nails need a deliverance. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> She'll be here tomorrow. Yeah, so. Shay is a weirdo. Okay, so there's a little bump in this one, so I'm just trying to smooth it out with the hand file. We keep trying to get sure to have um, a baby, but she's not going to. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I need somebody to spoil. Me? <laughs> <laughs> And then, like, I, like, I see the cutest baby stuff. Uh -huh. And I'm just like, I need to buy it. Mm -hmm. I need to buy it. So I'm just dusting them off. Okay, so now I'm just going to use an alcohol wipe to wipe off the nails.
Okay, I think for the color, I'm going to be using this color by Madam Glam in the color Aqua Blue. And as you guys know, I do have a promo code for them, so I'll be sure to leave it down in the description after the video. I'm just going to be using this small gel brush by OPI to clean around the cuticle area. Okay, so I'm going to let those cure for 30 seconds, and I'm using my Melody Susie UV LED lamp. And again, this is in the color Aqua Blue by Madam Glam. She was about to be chilling in front of the fire. <laughs> he's always cold. Girl, let it drop be below 70 and he's cold. Oh. Alrighty, so we're going to cure those for 30 seconds as well. And then we're going to go ahead and do a second coat on the other hand.
just pop in the store and come back. They don't get tired. I guess they took a water break. <laughs> Switching out. Alrighty, so same thing on this hand. We're gonna go ahead and do a second coat as well. And as you can see, that first coat did really good. Um, all of these Madame Glam gel polishes have a really good coverage, but I'll always go back and do a second coat no matter what color I'm using. No. I mean, if anything, like Texas Roadhouse, mm -hmm. which is I what you know everybody Texas do. Roadhouse. It's not a bad place to go. I've had a birthday dinner at Texas Roadhouse before. Mm -hmm. But you do got to be there early because then you'll be sitting there waiting all night. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they take reservations. Oh. Hopefully they do. I have like to five pieces on mm -hmm. The only thing about that is, you know, usually, um, you know, they don't have big tables. Mm -hmm. So everybody kind of sits, kinda spread it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So I did two coats of that color, which is aqua blue. So now I'm going to go in with some bling. So I'm going to be using my Madame Glam Gel Resin. As always, I'm going to go ahead and apply it wherever I want my bling. With my wax pencil, I'm going to pick up my pieces. So I'm going to use this bigger one. And then I'm going to be using my SS6 and my SS12. I'm also going to go ahead and use some of these other big pieces, which are the teardrop ones. And as always, just go back and add glue as you need it. I'm going to use a couple of other blue rhinestones 
if I can find some. And that's just, I'm trying to use a combination of darker blues and lighter blues since that's what we have in our sequins. Okay, so that's what that looks like. So I'm also going to be applying some on the pinky and the thumb. So for the pinky, I'm going to do a blue one right in the middle. And then I'm going to do like an outline with the smaller ones around the whole nail. Again, you just apply your glue wherever you want them. And then with the wax pencil, just pick up the rhinestones and place them on the nail. And then as you can see, it's not sticking anymore, which means there's no glue right there. So I just go back and add glue wherever I need it. And you do want to make sure that you do your glue as you go, just because you don't want it to dry. So what you do <clears throat> okay so that's the pinky so now for the thumb let's see mm. I'm gonna do some right in the middle Okay, so I'm just going to do that one like that, and then I'm going to spray them with the activator. As you guys know, this is to dry the, um, the glue. 
And now I'm gonna go in with my IBD gel top coat, which is the one that I always use. And it is a non cleanse, which means that I don't have to go back and wipe it off once it cure. I got all these bills out there too, man. Okay. I don't think so. I know the SWAT do be out there sometimes. I think they all kind of just go out there and, and practice. Mm -hmm. So it don't just be the people from the academy. Oh, it's like all of the police department. Okay. Make sure that that thumb goes all the way in there. Alrighty, so we're going to be doing the same thing for this hand. Let me see the other hand.
So again, for this one, we're doing the blue one in the middle, closer to the cuticle area, and then we're just gonna do the small AB ones all around. Her nails, her body is just falling apart. She's on the Oh, Lord, yeah, take your time. I'm gonna be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Shay, Shay, what is wrong with y'all, bro? There's something wrong with them, Okay, mommy, come on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, all right, let's get it. Like, my mom, she's been sick. Mm -mm. Uh-huh. And, girl, she had a blood vessel burst in her eye. Mm -mm. Yeah, I remember. And, I think Sarah told me that. Mm -hmm. And she's been having, like, um, like the strip throat. She had uh -huh. the strip throat for, like, two weeks. Mm-mm. She's just falling apart. Like, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Right. Has she been going to the doctor? No. Mm -mm. No. No, 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 is You get your life together. Mm-hmm. All the way together. Do I make a time for that? Mm-mm. She just needs some vitamin. She'll be all right. Alrighty, so that's it for that one. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> So now I'm going to go ahead and do the top coat on this one as well. Again, we are using the IBD gel top coat. I hope my mom cooks some good because I'm hungry. No, you know I'm starving. I, I, still, I still want pizza. You know I had Chick-fil-A earlier. <laughs> but see, with me working out now, I feel like it kind of balances out. So. I, it makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. It makes perfect so sense. So I can still eat. <laughs> Cause 
Oh, you look at the gym. I ain't got out of control. <laughs> oh, he's legit eating like every night almost. Mm -mm. Unhealthy. And, and like I watched like my my six hundred pound life. I don't want to be six hundred pounds. <laughs> I'm like no. Mm -hmm. And 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 then like one of the people, two two of them died from like six hundred pounds. One Damn. died got to be from uh -huh. being, you know like overweight. But another guy, he was Caucasian. He got found in the ditch with with a he. He got shot in his head. I think. Oh damn! Like, from the show? From the show? From my six hundred pounds? Mm -mm. Like, they trying to say it was suicide. You don't need no suicide. Mm -mm. I wouldn't throw myself in that ditch. Right. Maybe fell over and rolled into the ditch oh. or something. <laughs> it's not even funny, but it's funny. <laughs> it isn't even funny, but it's funny. Oh, gosh. But it was that mean lady. She, um... Okay, she, she then I like to follow the rules. Uh-huh. And um, she passed away. Mm -mm. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my cuticle oil. And I'm just going to apply that on the cuticles and just massage it in. And they had like like yellow sunflowers. First of all, I want them. Uh huh. They're like, they on like sixty some dollars. I yeah, I ordered some all white ones, like the kind mm -hmm. you just slip on. Mm -hmm. But um, they were too small because I, you know, they don't have no shoelaces or nothing. So I went back yesterday and exchanged them. Oh, good. And I just I, I got go, the pink ones. I might go into a van store then because I don't want it to be too soon. Cause if cause if they too small when I get it, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, you gotta try them on. So is it better to like go in the store or? Uh huh. But um, you know, Journeys they got um, they do. Is it fifteen percent off or no? It's ten dollars off online. Like with a student disc. What well, do you have a student email? Oh, Natalie. Do you yeah. have your email? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just with your um. You apply for like, or not apply, but just sign up for like, it's called Uni Day or something like that. Mm -hmm. And Victoria's Secret, take it. Victoria's Secret, give you 10% off mm -hmm. uh, with your student email. The Apple Store gives you like $300 off a laptop. No, like, shut a, up. <laughs> I promise. Because uh, I like, what is it? Do Apple, not Apple, Apple Music, yeah. Uh -huh. You know, you can do a student account. Mm -hmm. It's the same people, like the same website. Nelly, shut up. Mm -hmm. Do you have your student thing with your Apple Music, or you just pay no, ten dollars? No, I paid, but I I ain't got a Jake because you know last time I was here, you you told me about it. Uh -huh. The student thing. Yeah, so you just sign up with your student email, and they send you an email to your you know to your school email, mm -hmm. and that's it. And then because I went on a website because I kept seeing that like Journeys have it now, um, Victoria's Secret has or Pink has it. And I was like, I wonder who else has it. And it's like Best Buy. It's even like restaurants that like give discounts. And all you got to do is like whenever you go on there, it gives you a code. Like whenever you're checking or really like on Victoria's Secret, you know, on the categories, mm -hmm. like it says student discount. And you click on it and it gives you a promo code. Nearly shut Like up. yesterday I ordered some off of uh, Pink mm -hmm. and I used, they had a 40% off one item mm -hmm. and then I used my 10% either, no, I think it's 15% mm -hmm. off um, with the student discount and then they had free shipping. So and I, I was able to use all of them. Oh my gosh. But, I need to go check that out. Alrighty, y'all. So here is the final look. As you can see, they turned out really pretty. Um, the sequins look really pretty as well. And then that color is in the color Aqua Blue by Mia Secret. And everything kind of just went really pretty together. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at GetNail32. And I'll see you guys next time.